Hi, love bug. <laughs> Hi, love bug. Hi, love bug. Hi, love bug. Our intro is different because this is our Valentine's <laughs> gift guide. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy early Valentine's Day. Will you be my Valentine? Really? Yeah. 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 I think the the first step to getting a good gift is having a conversation with your partner. Oh, this is big. And talking about what caliber of gifts you're gonna get each other. Cause if you got me a pair of diamond earrings and I got you a stuffed animal, it's different. One of it's us might different. feel bad. I think you yeah, you need to like check your levels. Like, are we doing A tier, B tier, C tier? Are we not doing gifts at all? Yeah, are we being sentimental or are we spending our hard earned money? Sometimes you're like, I, I made you this paper crane and the other person's like, I bought you actually a Rolls Royce. You don't want there to be any weirdness with gifts. You want it to be a fun and happy thing. I, I feel like one of, one of the worst feelings in the world is when you give someone a gift and you're ashamed. Every time though that Laura <laughs> gives me a gift, she's like, she, well, she's like, I want to tell you what your gift is. But I don't. Oh. But she doesn't. But then as soon as I start opening it, she's like, it's actually okay if you don't like it. And it's it's actually a pile of crap. And it's it's the worst thing I've ever given you. And then it's like something completely fabulous. So. I just never want you, <laughs> I never want you to be like, you thought this was you a good this gift? this is something I would like? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Hit you in the face with it? No, I never would do that. I appreciate any gift because I know that your heart is always in it. And we always have those important conversations. Yes, we do. What sort of gifts we're getting each other. I do think you should be getting flowers in addition to a gift. Unless you both agree just to get flowers or to do no flowers. Yes. I think if you're, you're not speaking about it, just assume to get flowers because you would much rather get someone flowers that they're not expecting than mm -hmm. then be like, oh, and where are my traditional Valentine's Day flowers? Yeah, and to me, it doesn't have to be like, sure, you can have a bouquet delivered, which I did last year, um, which was very fun. But you can also just pick them up at the grocery store or you can pick them from your garden. Um, I just think it's a nice thing to do. And I think if you're dating a man, maybe still get flowers. Yeah. Men really like to receive flowers too. Because of the way the world is, they usually don't receive as many flowers. You so could be his first bouquet. And isn't that special? And also get your bush flowers. <laughs> I yes, feel like get everybody flowers. Yeah, everybody wants flowers. It doesn't just have to be super feminine women. Mm -hmm. Something that Alyssa does that I really like is she'll buy multiple bouquets at the store and then she'll arrange them herself to make it look like a fancy, schmancy, beautiful, thought out bouquet. And then she'll hand them to me and she'll be like, I got you these ones because you like them. And I got these ones because I like them. And I got these ones because they're seasonal. And I got blah, blah, blah. And it's just so cute. It's really fun to arrange flowers too. You could even like get a bunch of flowers together and arrange each other bouquets. And, and that'll be a fun little date. Oh, wait, <laughs> flower arranging date is really cute. And dates count as gifts. We'll get to that later. Let's get to it now, I guess. You can also do experiences as gifts. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't even have to be like a physical thing. I can't remember how many times I've handed somebody a gift box and inside is a piece of paper saying yes. like, we're doing this. Yes. We're doing this together. Lauren has also gotten me tickets to go see a taping of my favorite podcast. Like yes. you can you can do concerts, you can do shows, you can really do whatever. If you do schedule something, maybe don't open your calendar app in front of your significant <laughs> other because I bought Alyssa tickets to go see this podcast and I opened one day we're cuddling in bed I yeah. opened my calendar app it says the taping on this day because I had like put it in my schedule thank god Alyssa was like oh your boss is going to this because at the time my like boss's, boss's calendar, calendar was, was in calendar. my calendar but I was so she, flabbergasted she was I fumbled it I was like why would my boss go to this? I got this for you. Yeah. Forget I said anything. <laughs> it was, it was. And I'm a chronic over the shoulder starer. So yeah. it's kind of on both of us because I was peeking, not in any weird way, but just, I'm like, what's going on over there? Like it catches my attention. She's like a moth. She sees a screen <laughs> and she's looking. It's not her malicious intent. It's no. just, she just likes to look. I do. She's an information gatherer. If, you're, if your gift gets revealed early, it's okay. It's okay. It's the thought, and if it's something your your partner loves, then that's all that matters. Yeah. This is just like a specific gift. Is that for Christmas? I got Lord and I lockets. Oh. Um. And you can put any sort of picture in there that you want. I put um 
Lauren's favorite picture of me and my favorite picture of Lauren. I feel like lockets are so cute and you could do a necklace, you could do a little keychain, you could do mm -hmm. just a, an ornament, like yes. any locket type thing I think is so freaking cute and it's easier than one would know. I'm big into custom gifts. Mm -hmm. Um, I did custom matches for Lauren. I love little Last Valentine's Day. Oh my god, and they were so cute. They have like a picture of me on them, and I just love matchbooks, so she made me these collector's matchbooks. And then so she could give them out to her friends. This Christmas, I made Alyssa earrings. Yes, these are so cute. And one has a picture of her, and one has a picture of me. And of course, she gave me a locket. And, and they're I looking at each other. Gave her earrings of us looking at each other in profile. Like, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. We're always in sync. We love pictures of ourselves. Taking note of when your partner mentions something that they want or that they think is really cool, writing it down, um, and especially if it's something that they wanted but they wouldn't buy for themselves, yes. I think that's the mark of a great gift because all the time Lauren's like, oh, I love this so much, but then she never buys it. Why would you get them something that they could just buy for themselves? No, I think a lot of people, like, they want, they, they have like a wish list in their head that they just don't touch. Like for me, I really buy myself necessities and then every once in a while I will buy something randomly yeah, that I've never awesome. seen before <laughs> but I have like a backlog of things that I've wanted for so long that for some reason my brain like won't let me buy if we're in a store and she like turns away I'll be like and I take a little picture of it and then I have a little picture of my phone and sometimes she catches me and I have to say no I was taking a picture for me but really I was taking a picture to reference later you don't even have to order anything online it could be something from a little <laughs> corner store I don't know why I'm like 11 <laughs> Last Christmas, Lauren got me this a, a book that I've been wanting for years. Uh, it's like a coffee table book. I feel like it's so, like I never buy myself coffee table books, but I'm always wanting them because I feel like they're always so expensive. It's a book about Bob Mackie. And then she also got me a vest that she found of Bob Mackie. Of Bob Mackie's. Oh my God. And then yeah. this Christmas, Months ago, <laughs> during like I think October, I saw a little purse that I really wanted. Oh, let me get it. Look at this jelly cat purse. It is a moon with feet. And we saw this months ago. I literally, Alyssa, can verify. Maybe two days before our gift exchange, I was like, I really wish I had gotten that moon jelly cat purse. Next time we see it in person, I'm gonna buy it. And she, she stone faced was like, yeah, we can look for it. Then on our gift exchange two days later, before. she had already gotten it for me. <laughs> and she's such a good, you're good. I love you, girl. Let's talk about this. Wow. Also, if you want to get your partner a, a super little gay shirt, a super little gay shirt. I have an Etsy store where sometimes, sometimes I like to noodle around on Photoshop and create little shirts. And you can purchase them from me. And I will say, thank you. You're gay. You get That's this for so yourself. Funny. You could get it for your friend. Magic the girlfriends. They come in girlfriend. different colors. Yeah. And then I have a couple different shirts, but this one is my There's a partner favorite. version and a boyfriend version as well. Yeah. I tried to be inclusive. Usually I just make them for the, the WLW, the NMLNM, but I was feeling generous this Valentine's Day. If you're going to buy jewelry, know what type of metal your partner wears. Oh, yeah. You should already know that. Yeah, are they if rocking If you don't, ask about it. A silver, a gold, a rose gold. Oh, a rose even, gold, God forbid. You don't even have to look, Bronze. like ask, just look. Look at their jewel, like see what they're wearing. And if they're if they're a baddie like me, they're doing mixed metal. Yeah, some so people don't matter. have a preference. I've, I've recently become a silver. Um, And we're we're stronger for it. Homemade gifts are just as good as store-bought and anybody who says Sometimes otherwise better. is a fool. Mm -hmm. Is a fool. I think, it, it makes me feel very loved knowing that your your hands have been creating the item that I'm using. And also I feel like homemade gifts often take longer. And like Alyssa crocheted me a bonnet. Yes, bonnets are in 2024. <laughs> I'm obsessed with it and it took her days. Days of my woman's time. Is it okay that I called you my woman? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> days of my woman's time. Days of my time. Um, it took her days. <laughs> it took me days. Making something personal is huge. Thank you, sweetie. Um, so whether you do that by having a homemade gift or just like being very stealthy and noticing when your partner's into something and getting them something that relates to that, 
Um, just, just always think about like what is representative of them to me and like our love and and also some people are wild and out and they send spreadsheets. So if you and your partner are both very type A, then do that. Send links. Do that. I remember last Christmas you asked me for one of my favorite gifts ever to get. If you ever don't know what to get something, <gasps> get them fancy olive oil. Alyssa will die on this hill. I have a favorite one that I get. Um, maybe we'll insert an image of it. Fan cam here. Um, and I did an olive oil tasting when I went to Spain. The flavors are, you can taste in the olive oil, the tomato that grew nearby. So good, peppery taste to it. Drizzle, dip bread in. I wouldn't just use it to fry an egg. I just think it's a great gift. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. <laughs> with you. You are so funny. <laughs> I love you. You said, you said, gift guide, we need an olive oil section. And <laughs> Lockets I, and olive oil. Get her a locket, get her a shirt, and get her some god I know it oil. seems impersonal, but when something's good, it's good. Okay, okay but also get people gifts that you just love and you want to share with them. True, in addition to the olive oil, Truffle salt, fancy salt. Yeah, fancy salt is good too. I feel like it's fun to get people fancy things for their kitchen because I think people are not wild now. For my parents, for their anniversary, I got them a little thing of caviar. Mm -hmm. they, they had never, never tried it. They've never fabulous. had caviar. And so I was like, here, have some caviar. They would have never bought themselves that. Yeah, it's fun. And they loved it. And they loved it. And they said, do you want a bite? And they said, no, 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 it's your gift. And then she took a bite. <laughs> and so did I. I was also there. Hey, thanks for reviewing that. Of course. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell, like it, comment, something, do, engage. <laughs> and have a happy, happy Valentine's Day. And and if you're single, buy something for your friends and have them buy you stuff. Yeah, buy, oh, something, buy something for yourself. yourself. Uh, for Christ's sake. If you don't love yourself, another. You're, you're gonna, gonna love, love somebody, somebody else. else. Okay, bye love bugs. Bye love bugs. <laughs> <laughs> What are you going through over there? Oh, ah. Subtly sweet tea break. I just figured I'd cut this all out. <laughs> well, we'll see.